We grow from our mother's bosoms. We grow from loving and nurturing words. We grow from experience. We grow from so many things, but isn't it odd that they also can break us down to the core and strip us raw of our protective barriers until we're decaying from the inside out? The same mother could turn her back to you when she should have unlocked her chest and opened her heart with the key she kept for so long to comfort you when you need it. Loved one's words could get misconstrued and twisted gruesomely into a vine that strangles your soul all behind a seed of good intention. You can experience the greatest pains, whether it be heartbreak, the death of people you're close to, or a physical injury. We all have potential to grow and blossom like the most beautiful and rare plants, but every plant withers and dies eventually. That's just life. But people will prematurely. Some don't have the strength to compete for the sun and soil, and others are fed pure pesticides by ignorant gardeners who just don't know any better. But even in the midst of death, darkness, and decay, there is room for growth. If you visit a graveyard, You'll see grass and little patches of flowers, but not the ones people place by graves, no. Even when surrounded by an entirety of rotting corpse and bare memories, life is still present, no matter how small and insignificant it may seem on a larger scale. We may start to decay many times over in our lives, but we can be reborn and grow anew. Come back with a bang and a burst of flames that a phoenix fire could never compare to. We are stronger than we think and must realize plants that wilt have the potential to grow again if taken care of and even bloom with more resilience. Our roots planted deeply into the soil, so let's grow together and strengthen our hearts. Then they won't be so easy to just rip apart. We can plant ourselves in some solid soil and water our souls with the words of wisdom, making sure the light of purity and positivity shines down on them so we can spread high up into the sky where we will be untouchable. The hands of death will not reach us until it's time.